Welcome to our funeral. <laughs> Welcome to the Better Not Podcast. I'm Will. And I'm Zach. And this is the show where two co-workers bet beers and topics you can easily Google the answer for. Boom! Boom. But we have... Uh... <laughs> oh, it's already high production level today. Um, why are we dressed like this, Zach? Because today is our funeral episode. It's the funeral episode. The final, if you will. The grand finale. The grand finale. The uh, the death has come for us all. Yes. Due to COVID-19. <laughs> <laughs> Actually. The Better Not Podcast is it. I was telling you the other day, we um, we were supposed to do a mob episode. Yeah. And I was like, we should just say that the mob is making a shutdown now. Yeah. <laughs> But. Oh, man. Um, yeah. So, guys, uh, it's been a good run for the Better Not podcast. We've had a really fun time. I and agree. Um, we are actually shutting the podcast down, um, which is a bummer. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's just a lot for me to handle. Um, if you've enjoyed the video edits, if you've enjoyed the podcast part of it, um, it's a lot of time I put into it behind the scenes, a lot of time that we're hanging out. Um, it's a lot of fun, and I really enjoy it. It's a great hobby. But um, our business is picking up. Mm-hmm. We got a baby on the way, um, and uh, just you know, we've been evaluating our lives, and we're like, I think we need to cut something out, and this takes several hours a week, and yeah. uh, you know, sometimes you just have to say no to stuff, and right. sadly, it's like one of my favorite things to do. So, well, you know, yeah, it was that or give up working. Yeah, give so. up working. <laughs> well, and that's another thing is like, yeah, if I like quit work early so that I can do this hobby, you right. know what I mean? Yeah. So I'm not ready to quit work, work, work yet. Right. I'm ready to kind of refine what I'm doing in my free time to go do a full-time job. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it, it's good reason. You know? Yeah. 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 And I mean, you, you've been placing secret bets on if uh, we were going to cancel because of, uh, you know, Flora coming. Right. Um, so you, I think you secretly won that bet. I definitely won the bet. And uh, also I bet that um well my uh not that i bet but my uh new year's resolution was to do this for a year yeah and you're also shutting me down on that okay well <laughs> I mean, we have like like five more episodes or no, six or seven before we hit a full year yeah and um i'm just like way too busy in the next couple months right to to like it's like i'm gonna keep working hard and do this as well for two more months and then quit it's like, just go ahead and do it. Right. Pull it, pull it now. So are you going to give me a beer for yeah, the bet Yeah. Here? So um, for you guys watching, uh, uh, just just stay tuned. Uh, wait. For you guys listening and watching, um, you guys stay tuned. We're going to crack several beers this episode. We're going to talk about uh, the old episodes and, and laugh about some of the previous things that have been said and done on this epi- on the show. And uh, yeah, just hang out with us on the last episode and, and rein in the... Uh, the end of it. Let's so do it. I know it's sad, but let's drink some beers. Cool. Let's go to our first of probably three or four beer things. Beer corner. Beer corner. Yeah. So I've got the trade bait, Heisey. 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 Hazy IPA. And we're going to start with that one today. You um, know, it's funny. When I was driving over here right now, have you heard that song, um, I'm Going to Miss Her? It's no. a country song about uh, fishing. No. <laughs> so basically in the song, and I can't remember who sings the song. Um, the guy says the wife gave him an ultimatum, um, either fishing or me. Yeah. And then he, he's like, and I'm going to miss her. <laughs> <laughs> so it's good. funny that you got a beer that had a yeah. thing. Or a That's good. Fishing line on it. Yeah. Uh, and also for the viewers, uh, if we ever look off camera, uh, Savannah, uh, my wife is, is sitting very close by. In the living room. Yep. And, uh, you know, she was on the last two episodes and she did a really good job. And that's why we're shutting it down. <laughs> <laughs> she, she did so good that the yeah. ratings went so high. We're like, oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, we got to stop this now while we're, <laughs> while we're up. Okay, this is a hazy IPA. It's 8.1 Ooh. alcohol. We're starting off right today. It's canned in Carlsbad, California. Okay. At Virgin Beer Co., um, Hops Mosaic, Vic Secret, Simcoe. That's interesting. I never heard that listed on there before. Let's crack this thing. Cool. Thank you. Mm-hmm. 
excellent pouring methods. I like the color on that. It's hazy, but it's like very golden. Thank you, sir. Oh, I should have stirred that guy. Cheers. Gross. Excellent. Tastes like a hazy IPA to me. It's very smooth. It's smooth. Um, crisp. Um, it has a little bit of like a sweet bite to the mm -hmm. front end. It goes well with the toothpaste taste in my mouth. That's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> um, there was this thing where like, uh, Brad Pitt and Jimmy Fallon were trying to one up each other. Okay. And uh, they were like sending each other things at dinner. Uh, like out of dinner, like, uh, you know, across the room, like send this to that guy. Oh, yeah, yeah. Have mm -hmm. you seen this video? No. And uh, they just start getting in a competition to send each other like things. And then uh, as it goes on, it gets more and more crazy. Yeah. And one of them was uh, toothpaste and orange juice. <laughs> what, what kind of restaurant has toothpaste? <laughs> they don't, but it was just, it's funny. <laughs> it's a joke. Okay. Yeah. Oh, it was, it was a, a show. Yeah. It was on like Jimmy Fallon show. Okay. That, like, that. like this was like legit, like, yeah. They were at a restaurant. No, not real life. Okay. <laughs> that it. would be funny, though. <laughs> that would be funny. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, this is a good one. Good beer. Solid. Goes good with uh, the heat wave today. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Another thing is uh, it's a crazy heat wave outside, and you're going to hear some fan noise in the back, but this is the last episode, so. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well. Um, yeah. The AC is. If you're still listening at this point, you're like a die, die hard, hard so. die hard fan. <laughs> yeah. You probably don't mind the noise in the background. Yeah. So thank you to you. Thank you to our one patron. Yeah. Um, are you going to refund her money? <laughs> Maybe. Probably. <laughs> I feel like we should just send her. Yeah. $2. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> thank three, you. Two or three to bucks. Thank you yeah. for your service. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, uh, we had pit one patron, you know, Alex, thank you so much mm -hmm. for supporting us. Appreciate that. Um, and thank you for. Actually, it started with Alex, and then it went to our second intern, right? Right? Malivia? She's not a patron. No, I mean, uh, <laughs> well, she's, yeah, don't talk about her. Malivia. <laughs> well, so basically, it, it was over two interns that we did the show. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I think Alex gave us the idea, and then she ended her internship, and then mm. we started it shortly after. We started it shortly after. You're right. Yeah. Yeah. And then it's basically, it's been going in Malivia's entire time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, till they kicked her off campus. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's ridiculous. Um, so yeah, yeah. What else? Um, this beer's good. It's it's oh yeah, it's smoky outside. That's what I wanted to say. Yeah. So everything in our house is locked down. <laughs> we were gonna do this like a normal podcast in there. Yeah. And it's so hot in How there. Is it? And then we were just like, well, we got to do it in the living room. Yeah. So welcome to my living room. This is an, a nice to change up the environment. Yeah, it's the first and the last. Yeah. 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 So, um, better not podcast. Uh, it's been around for, I think this is going to be 46 episodes. Okay. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. Almost, almost did a whole year worth. Yeah. Almost a whole year. Um, we skipped a week, so that's, so that's a little bit longer. You've at least 46 hours extra with me out of your life. Whoa. Isn't that weird? That is weird. Ooh. <laughs> That's How's yeah, it I, make didn't you feel I didn't get paid. I didn't get paid for that. <laughs> I know, right? You're supposed to get paid for us hanging out. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. So 46 hours extra with you, which that's weird. Yeah, um, it's not weird. <laughs> well. uh, and then um, probably probably two hours editing mm -hmm. each one, maybe. Okay. So yeah, that's, that's a like, lot of hours. It's a lot of time. Yeah. Yeah. What? So what was your favorite episode? Uh, hands down the Taco Bell episode. Really? Yeah. That was an early one. It was an early one. Uh, yeah. Taco I, Bell. I loved, cause I just knew that they were going to accept that tip mm -hmm. and you were so confident cause you even researched it and you said that you found on their website or whatever that they're not allowed to, um, take yeah, tips. Yeah. Store policy is not. And she just reached up and grabbed that. Oh yeah. She that was $5. like, oh my gosh. Was I'm it five not... or is it a dollar? Uh, I don't remember. You just handed it to her, and she was like, thank you. She yeah. didn't even say thank you. She just grabbed it. I said, here's your tip. And, <laughs> yeah, I, tip. I think she was, like, kind of here's mind blown. Here's your tip. <laughs> um, man, yeah, that one was pretty early. 12. Episode 12. Okay. Crazy. And Savannah was on that episode. She was, yeah. Mm -hmm. I got me Cinnabons. Yeah, we got you yep. Cinnabons. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that was a good one. Yeah. That was a good one. Um, I don't know. I, I really liked... 
Uh, I'm assuming that you asked that same question. <laughs> I'm already starting to talk about it. <laughs> I don't really care. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, of course I want to know what your favorite um, episode was. Dude, we've had some really good ones. Uh, I'm trying to think what were some of my favorites. Um, grossest episode was the toenails. But I thought it was the wiper. Oh, no, that one wasn't that bad. I like poop talk. Okay. I'm, I'm a potty I'm a <laughs> The potty toenails talk gross guy. you out more, huh? Speaking yeah. of, um, I had a leaky toilet that I just fixed oh, okay. yesterday. Yeah. Um, and, yeah, it's incredibly easy to... Um, Did you have something over there, Savannah? I thought you were going to say a leaky toenail. <laughs> 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 Speaking of which, I had a leaky toenail. She said yeah. she thought... I haven't fixed leaky that toenail. yet. <laughs> the toenail, just, just the toilet. Leaky toenail is not fixed yet. <laughs> um, yeah. The ring, I pulled it off, and it was like, had turned into like sand almost. It was so strange. <laughs> I keep thinking about the leaky toenail. <laughs> <laughs> I took the ring off my toenail yeah. when it turned to sand. So strange. Um, that's gross. Yeah. 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 I w- I've never gotten that close to a toilet before. Uh, toilet I mean, you like really got to get in there and yeah. scrape stuff off. And and fungal matter. Yeah. Fecal, fungal. Fecal. Yeah. It's fecal Fun- and fungal. Fungal is uh, what's under your nails, right? That's the toenail. That's the toenail. Yeah, yeah that's what's oozing. leaking out of my yeah. toe right now. Yeah. Mm. Uh, this is a good one. <sighs> it's it's good. It's already warm, though, because of the heat in the room. Yeah. What's the temperature in here? 81. 81 cool degrees. Now. We sweat a lot on this podcast, though. There's been some sweaty ones. <laughs> I sweat a lot on this microphone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I need to kidding. sanitize that for COVID-19. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. We've been in some Speaking hot rooms. COVID-19, did you see the president tested positive? <laughs> yeah. So I'm curious to see if Bernie gets it, because they were just doing that. You mean Biden? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Same thing. <laughs> uh, he tested negative. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, no, I mean, they were far apart, but... Uh, I just think it's really funny. Yeah. Uh, just cause like, it, it was just really funny. Cause he was like, he's like, he wears a mask so big. And then he gets it. And I'm yeah. like, Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he's going to be fine. I, I was talking to this fan. And I'm like, you know, it's not, it's not that big a deal. Cause like he, the president has the best medical care oh, yeah. like in the world. Yeah. Um, so like, you know, I, yeah, I, I mean, I hope he's fine. You yeah. know, um, that, so I only get on Twitter uh, to see his on, tweets, not not his tweets, but to see. Do you maybe, follow him on Twitter? I think I do, just like to see crazy tweets. Yeah, but that's I feel like that would be the only reason to have Twitter. Well, the only reason to have Twitter for me is is essentially the same thing, but like to see just ridiculous stuff. Like so, if anything ridiculous happens, Twitter is the best place to be really? to hear something funny about it. Okay. So uh, the debates like was a, a hot mess. Yeah. Um, Did you see um, the hidden wire that yeah, I've heard of pop, popped out of uh, Biden's shirt? And I guess it was coming out of his, his sleeve, too. Uh, it's it's all conspiracy, man. <laughs> but that, but it's spread on social media. So then yeah. to watch like people talk about it, that's what's funny about it. Yeah. Um, and then, oh, well, I mean, just like just like I, there was a, the office. There was an office thing that I retweeted that was like. Uh, I mean, both of them were doing this, but it was like, I just start sentences and see where it goes. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, yeah, they literally both were doing that. Yeah. Like, yeah. uh, they might as well have not had that moderator there. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> like, yeah. There's no point. They're both just going to be talking over each other. I mean, Trump was 10 times worse than Biden was. Just but, the whole uh, thing was just, it was just such a hot mess. And then when you see a hot mess in the world, you go to Twitter and yeah. see what people are saying about it. That's the funniest part. I thought it was hilarious. Them both calling each other out and then, and they're like, say it, say it. And none of them would say yeah. what, what they were t- telling them to say. Well, they just <laughs> kept like flubbing up each other. Like they, since they talked over each other, they kind of just confused each other. Like two uh, old men's talking. Biden, I think like, Probably about five times the moderator was like, uh, we're talking about this. Oh, no. Twitter. Twitter. Uh, so I got on when I heard about, you know, him contracting COVID. Yeah. And so you know how the Simpsons, 
um, predicted him walking down the... Yes, I saw that he's got a funeral. Yeah, did you see the funeral Somebody one? posted that, but I don't know. What did they predict for the funeral? I don't know exactly what the funeral one was, but, um, you know, Simpsons prediction. I'm, I mean, he has to die, die eventually. <laughs> well, <yeah>. Obviously, <laughs> that's not a prediction. He's not going to die from COVID, but, uh, and not that I want him to, um, but, like, it's just, like... I know, I know, obviously, everyone dies, so, like, yeah. that doesn't matter. But I think that was on the same episode, I want to I wanted say. Mm-hmm. But, uh... So, I had somebody a couple months ago tell me that they wish he would die. Um, Why would anyone wish that? I, I know. I was... And my thought immediately was, I think you need therapy. Yeah. You know, like, if yeah. you wish death upon someone, yeah, that's beyond hatred, right? Yeah, that is beyond hatred, yeah. for sure. And, like... It's politics. Like, it's politics. It's people. Everyone has different opinions. Right. Like, and we've talked about that, I feel like, on this show, too. Like, <laughs> I mean, this show actually has dove into semi politics mm-hmm. sometimes, but like, everyone has different opinions. Like, the the crazy. Well, actually, some of the, the documentary that we watched today, the, we, we watched a documentary about voting. And it was just talking about how the, the two fields, the two candidates, as we progress in time Hmm. are tending to go further and further out to the right right when most of America is center. Right. And so the parties are even getting split more and more and more. Right. And there's nothing we can do about it because that is easier to explain and to show than it is to like be a Nobody wants to like give money to a moderate is is, is basically what they're saying. It's like, there's nothing exciting about this moderate, Hmm. but there's something exciting about, you know, I'm going to end this. I'm going to build this. There's something exciting, whether you're for that or against it, Mm -hmm. uh, about, um, you know, Bernie's like full socialism stuff. There's something exciting there. Like, and I'm not for that either. Like I, I'm not for, you know, either of these crazy extremes. I'm for a lot of like neutral down the middle kind Mm -hmm. of ideas. And, but it's easier to like, be like that guy, that guy's got something. He's got an interesting idea. Give Mm. that guy money. Yeah. And that was, so one of the, it was three, it's actually really interesting uh, for our listeners and viewers. It was uh, the Vox, um, what was it? Explained? Yeah. I think it was, uh, it's called Vox. It's hosted by Vox.com. Yeah. Voting Explained. Um, Is that the documentary that you just watched? Yeah. It's a a three-part documentary series, like 30 minutes each. Okay. So about an hour and a half. Um, And this is on Netflix? It's on Netflix. Okay. um, And uh, they interview both sides, uh, Democrats and Republicans. And Mm -hmm. they talk about um, just kind of how the elections go, how voting goes. Okay. Um, And it it doesn't necessarily talk about, you know, the fraud stuff that, You know, Trump, it talks a little bit about that, but Mm -hmm. really what it talks about is uh, what is voting and then like how it's been, how people have gained the right to vote. So like it's the right to vote, the money behind campaigns. Okay. And then um, uh, the third one one was on the Electoral College, which is a mystery to most and gerrymandering. It was like Electoral College and gerrymandering. What's gerrymandering? That's when both and both sides do this. They carve up. Um, districts to make to uh, like to like make it like this one's Republican yeah. if I draw this line. Okay. Um, which both sides and this is the thing is like it's easy to be like oh the Republicans do this and yeah. the Democrats do this. Literally both sides are bad. <laughs> Playing the same game. Exactly. Exactly. So and yeah. well, anyways, uh, <laughs> this is our last episode. No one cares about politics, but uh, it's just funny that this is coming out. Like actually, this one will come out really close to the election. Yeah. Um. So. Yeah. Yeah, it was. It's interesting. Go check it out. Um, go vote. Do you want to bet on who's going to win the election? Ooh, the, they'll never hear the end of that <laughs> one. Um, no, I don't because there's like no way you can know. That's why you bet. Do you think uh, I keep want to say Bernie uh, Biden is going to win? I I don't know. I'm actually thinking Trump's probably going to win again. Uh, Okay, well, then we don't have a bet. <laughs> yeah. Well, I just think it's, yeah, I just think his base is, is going to be there for him. Yeah. And, and then, I don't know, all the weird stuff like that's been set up about voting. Like, I just feel like this whole vote 
Oh, it's going to be a mess. You it's going to be a mess, it's and then it's going to go. Mess. It's probably. It might even go to the Supreme Court, like he yeah. says that it might. I mean, was it Florida the last election had to completely redo the vote? There was one state um, that completely had to redo their vote. It was recently. It wasn't in about like a governor one, a governor race a couple years. I thought it was for know. the election last year, or last two years ago. Yeah, uh, yeah. Two years Three ago. Three years ago. Oh no! Oh no! That wasn't that. That was um. I don't know. I don't know, man. Yeah, I don't remember. I just remember hearing about that they had to, the whole state had to redo their votes. I was just like, oh my gosh, I can't even imagine. Yeah, it's going to be a hot mess. So I'm. Anyways, driving. let's go back to positives. Let's talk about our, our show. <laughs> okay. Let's go back to Real our quick, show. though. Okay. I'm driving down the highway the other day and I get off uh, the exit and a mailman's getting on and the whole back end of their. Uh, truck yeah. or whatever is yeah. open and stuff's flying out <laughs> and i'm just envisioning my ballot <laughs> you yeah. know i'm like oh great <laughs> well and that's what the documentaries were saying it was like the whole like talking about what well, the first one was talking about like you know how the, if there's fraud in it like and then it's like well way more of mail-in ballots are thrown out oh, i'm sure uh because of like improper filing right yeah. So, I mean, you fill out one thing wrong on there, and it's yeah. just going to be thrown away. Yeah. And you know they're not going to contact you. You'd be like, hey, you need to fix this. Yeah, they you just know? throw it out. Yeah. So it's it's really interesting to say that there's going to be fraud in that when it's like, eh, there's like it's actually going to be harder to vote by mail. Yeah. We got actually our ballots. We're, yeah, we our voting place is right next door, so oh, really? we're just going to go over there. That's cool. Yeah. Sweet. I mean, that's the only that's the only way to, to know your right. vote's going to count. Yeah. I mean, if you if you have like a medical condition, like for sure, like don't go to the polls like yeah. for sure but you know the only way that you know it's going to count is to actually vote in person right um anyway yeah. back to the the funeral episode yeah what a what a way to have the funeral episode when we're talking about politics <laughs> yeah that's how i feel about the funeral episode is that what you should call it the funeral episode i think so yeah or the is there can can you call like is it like a fu- funeral it, what if you had like a uh, plural, or not plural? Uh, Funerals, episode? like a funeral. You know, like a mayoral race, like mayor or a mayoral race. You know what I mean? Do they do that? Yeah, like it's like the the electoral college, right? Isn't it? No. Electoral college. Well, it is mayoral. Mayoral. <laughs> mayoral race. So, like, is I it. I like how we have, like, a spectator over yeah, here. That's like, we need to. Boom! <laughs> we need to fire up her mic. <laughs> we should fire up her mic. Um, uh, what's that? Oh. It's camera ready. Well, you can hop on at any time. Yeah. Anyways, um, I'm out of a beer. <laughs> let's get something. Before we go to the next section. I'm getting hot. Let's grab uh, one of your beers. Cool. Here, I'll hold your mic. I'm talking in both microphones. Oh, you pulled it out. Beer corner. Gosh, I hate that this debate was semi-recently because like, all I do is want to talk about how ridiculous it was. <laughs> I was about to be like, don't ask me about spelling. And then that reminded me of Trump going, don't ever question me about smartness or whatever he said. You want to talk about smart? <laughs> yeah. He's like, don't ever co- like, talk to You were the smart. last one to graduate in your class. I was like, what is this debate? <laughs> Sorry. Okay, no more. No more. All right, what did you bring? What did he do for $3 million? Tell me what he did for $3 million. I'm like, the dumbest well, I kind of want to know, too. And then he brought up Hillary. And I was like, why is Hillary in this debate? Uh, oh let me rinse these out real quick. Okay, sure. All right, I'll talk about the beer while you're... Uh, Zach's going to rinse our cuts because we're going stout territory. Thanks for bringing a stout on a nice hot day. <laughs> oh, wait, we have a guest star hopping on. Hi. Hey, Savannah, how's it going? Good. Are you going to drink some more pregnancy beer? <laughs> no. <laughs> um, so, yeah, if you watched the last two episodes, my wife Savannah was on. So that's a, that's a memory of the podcast, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. You, you want to talk about this beer? Okay. So today we have Campfire Stout. It leaves you wanting s'more. Okay. It's from High Water Brewing. It's from a gas station. 
and <laughs> the brewery's the brewery <laughs> is a gas station. <laughs> it's six point five percent alcohol. Oh. Um. And it, okay. Are you it, gonna read the description there? Is that a description? Well, I'm not very good at reading. Okay. I, I think you should read it. Okay. <laughs> I'm nervous. <laughs> Campfire stout evokes fond memories of wilderness and camping adventures. Mm. Notes of chocolate and graham cracker topped with a hint of marshmallow will leave you wanting some more. Mm. Like any campfire experience, this beer is best when shared with a circle, with a warm circle Ooh. of family and friends. What a great beer to have on this show. This is a good beer today because it's kind of like we're at a campfire. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. it's smoky outside. It's it smells warm. really campfirey. Yeah, it smells it's like It's very smoke. hot. So, um, it's brewed with graham crackers and molasses with natural flavor added, which is always sketchy. Always good. What is that? Uh, what do they say natural flavor is? Beaver tail? <laughs> what? Like, whenever you see natural flavor, beaver tail. It could be anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, it says according to the general surgeon, or no, the surgeon general. <laughs> the general <laughs> surgeon, <laughs> general surgeon. Um, women should not drink alcoholic beverages during pregnancy. Savannah, it says it right on the can. I know. So that one's for you. So, well, that was my contribution. Thank you for I being can't on the drink show. This, so I'm gonna hand it back to Zach now. All right, here comes Zach. Thank you to our guest star. Yeah, guest star Savannah. She was on the last two episodes. If uh, if we kept on going, she'd be in a lot more. Yeah. Uh, we, you know what we should do? We should do a uh, a pollathon right now, or, or or you know a campaign to like, hey, we're ending our show, but we won't end it <laughs> if you <laughs> hop on Patreon for ten dollars a month. Yeah. And then if we got like a hundred bucks a month, I'd I'd keep going. <laughs> So you're telling me if I pay you a hundred? No, I'm just kidding. No, if ten people <laughs> hopped on there for ten dollars a month, yeah. I would keep the show going. We could do a pollathon. Call in, call in right now. Now we're ending it. Well, um, no, uh, I don't know. Has no, I don't think this is working anymore. You might have pulled it out from your ear, uh, from this part. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. There you go. All right, let's crack oh, this yeah. puppy. Cool. Um, can you play the banjo while we're oh. drinking this? Yeah. You crack it. All right. Because I feel like that's very, like, campfire-y. Oh, don't crack it yet. All right, ready? Yep. <laughs> I did it. I pulled it off the uh, the wall, and it was not in tune. Um, <laughs> if anyone's wondering, question question away, Zach. Uh, so we had somebody come to my church one time that was like a traveling banjo band. Okay, and I'm I'm full full listening to this. And the girl that was playing banjo, she had these metal things that she slid all over. Okay, and then picks on her finger. What are the what it. What is that? Is that still the banjo? Or is I don't that know if she had it on her left hand, but on the right hand, yeah, you wear finger picks. Okay. It was like a slide kind of. Oh, okay. Like yeah. Some people use slides. Okay. Yeah. So that was a regular banjo then, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. They were pretty good. They yeah. traveled all over the U.S. That finger picking um, <clears throat> with the uh, with the finger picks mm -hmm. is hard. Is it's it? A, yeah. I tried doing it once. It's uh, not good. Okay. Not good. It's hard. Yeah. Um, yeah. Look at this beer. That looks like it was like nitro or something. Yeah, right. All right, cheers. Prost. Another beer. It's good. Wow, that is campfire. It's very you can sweet. like smell it. Yeah. It is a massive foamy head on it. Yeah. That's pretty good. Like wow. It. Yeah, that does taste like s'mores. What was the town this was from? Northern? Northern California. 
It just says Northern. It just says NorCal right there. NorCal. Um, what was the name of the river? High Water. I don't Hail. think it says where it's at. Hail or High Water. That's right. Lodi. 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 That's pretty close. Is it? Lodi? Isn't that over... I don't, I've never heard of it. By Buellton? I don't know. Lodi. No, I'm thinking of... I can't think of it. I want to visit Yolo County. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So that's definitely <laughs> no. not south. Yeah. <laughs> it literally says NorCal on it. I'm saying it's down yeah. south. No. Um, yeah. Definitely wrong with that one. Yeah. Uh, where's Where's Yolo? Is that way way north? Yolo County. Yeah. So now I'm loving you know. being on the side and fact checking everything. This is pretty great. We should have had this the whole time, and just like you and I just say stuff, and she'll just fact check us that on the been side. Would have a lot easier. Dang. I feel like we have we have a whole new <laughs> podcast structure here. Yeah, yeah the research person. research person. Okay, okay. If you like this episode, <laughs> I'm going to leave our Patreon live for a few more months. Just so we can get a couple more dollars out of Alex. If, <laughs> if our Patreon jumps up randomly to $50 to $100. <laughs> I, that's not that many people. That really yeah, isn't. True, true. We have a solid 40 listening. 10 people at $5. Ten people at five dollars. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's not that many. Yeah. If ten people at five dollars a month commit to this podcast, we will keep going. Do you feel like that would be a good reason to keep going? Wait, how much? Money? Fifty bucks a month, minimum. Six hundred dollars a year. But it would grow. Santa <laughs> says no, so don't do that. But if you do, well, I'll consider it. A hundred bucks a month. Twelve hundred dollars a year. Yeah, Zach. Zach's taking no money I, at this time. I said I'd take point one percent. I think. Right? <laughs> I think Is you did say like a small percentage. <laughs> hundred dollars a month. Maybe. I don't know. It's like kind of a baby, so we'll see. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yolo is northwest of Sacramento. Yolo is northwest of Sacramento. Two hundred fifteen miles. Two hundred fifteen miles from here. Pretty far. Okay. That's not too far. It's what towns are in Yolo? Yeah, what's the big town of Yolo? Is that Eureka? Oh, it is mm. a town? Oh, interesting. It's just called Yolo? <laughs> God bless you. Excuse me. Oh, man, this would have been great because we could just keep talking and then do research on the side. We, we really messed up. Man, okay, <laughs> it, $100 a month. So there is a Yolo County. Okay. Okay, oh. it's an unincorporated community in Yolo County. So, like a trailer park? or <laughs> <laughs> You said 450? Trailer park. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> right? <laughs> I mean, that sounds like, yeah. Commune. It's either a commune, a trailer park, maybe a homeless encampment. Yeah. Something their, like that. Their slogan is Yolo. Yolo, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, for sure. Okay, interesting. Interesting. I mean, this is pretty good. I like it. Yeah, I like it too. Um, so yeah, I, I I haven't visited much of of California yet. I feel like I've never been to Northern California as past uh, Tahoe. Okay, past Tahoe. Yeah. Uh, but you've just really just driven to Tahoe, right? Yeah. You've never stopped anywhere else. Uh, I think we stopped in Sacramento to get gas. So, do you cross through the mountains up there, or do you go like east? The Eastern Sierras to get up to Tahoe. No, we went through Sacramento, went all the way to Sacramento, and then took the. Okay. It's a high. I can't remember the highway that takes you up there. Yeah, have you been to the Eastern Sierras? Mm. That's pretty cool. Is it? It's pretty cool over there. Yeah. Now um, that's east, right? It's east. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You go east, <laughs> and you'll find it. Um, it's inter- It's just an interesting area. It's really cool. Like that's where we went for okay. that camping trip a few months ago. Um, that was desert, right? Um, it's kind of desert when you're in the valley of it. And okay. then when you go up into it, it just turns into Sierras, but it's like okay. a backside of it and just different. It's yeah. different. Cool. Yeah. It's cool. Um, yeah. 
Well, uh, what's some other favorite moments of yours on the, our show here, Zach? Uh, I still love the when we did the Barrel House one, and you took mm-hmm. the picture of me, and I look like uh, Hugh Hauser. That, yeah, that's probably one of my favorite pictures. That's uh, a good that, one that I have. Yeah, Ryan was a really good guest on that episode. He was. Yeah, I really enjoy Ryan on the show. Yeah, yeah. Um, Looking forward to his podcast when it comes about. Yeah, Ryan's going to try to start a podcast. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's going to get a little sounding board. Just launch that off. Yeah. That'll be fun. Mm-hmm. Um, what's, some other, what's some other moments? Um, I really enjoyed our Christmas episode when we had the eggnog. Dude, okay. So, yeah, that episode made me love eggnog. It was one of my favorite episodes. Yeah. Um, okay. and then, oh, yeah. I'm very passionate about eggnog now. Yep. Uh, somebody was telling me the other day that Costco already has their eggnog. No. Yeah. Really? I think it's a, it's a little early. Well, we're we're gonna but go to Costco later today. I would, okay. Well, maybe fix them up. I'll look it up. Um, I went to nothing like eggnog on a hot. <laughs> yeah. Hundred degree degrees. <laughs> Just love sitting on my porch when it's hundred degrees drinking eggnog. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, I went to Home Depot yesterday and they've got all their Christmas stuff out already. I hate that. Right next to the Halloween <laughs> stuff. I hate that. <laughs> Oh, that's the worst. Yeah. I really loved our Flat Earth episode. Yeah, that was... I mean, Tent City was amazing. Yeah, both the Tent City episodes. I really enjoyed mm-hmm. being at Tent City. Mm-hmm. Um, Kendall was awesome having us there. And Tyrone, it was, yeah. it was, a, it was well, great. Well, it was such, such an interesting like talk, like a real talk. You know, we yeah. actually talked about... <laughs> not that the other talks on our show... Were <laughs> they real. weren't real. No. <laughs> Uh, but no, it was really cool to dive in with Tyrone and, and learn about like what an actual flat earther thinks right. about it. Um, the hard ciders at, at 10 city were amazing. Yeah. Uh, seltzer. Hard cider. Hard seltzer. Excuse me. Just seltzer. Yeah. Hard right. seltzer. Are they hard seltzer? Is that what they are? Yeah. Cause you can, oh, uh, I guess seltzer yeah, water. Seltzer water. Yeah. Okay. But it's not even seltzer. Seltzer water is a specific thing, isn't it? Is seltzer different than seltzer water? Savannah, seltzer, is seltzer the same as, uh, seltzer water? Seltzer, well, not seltzer, is seltzer the same as, like, LaCroix? Like, what's LaCroix? Like, sparkling water. And then there's club soda. Club, oh what is gosh. club soda? <laughs> this is great to have a fact checker right next door. Are you enjoying fact checking? Are you annoyed that we're yelling at you? Okay, while well, Savannah looks that up. That was a good episode. It was so good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Those drinks were so good. I actually... Okay. Club soda is artificially infused with carbon and mineral salt. Okay. Club soda okay, artificially... Okay, so it has salt in it. It has salt and it's artificially infused. Similarly. Oh, okay. Seltzer is artificially carbonated but simulated not contain any added minerals. Okay. So it just Seltzer. ran through a carbonation... Seltzer carbonated but no added minerals. Okay. Okay, so yeah, so I that guess was seltzer and club, and then hard seltzer they, would be with alcohol. Yeah. Yeah, but what what is Lacroix considered? Like when we when we say sparkling water, which one of those two is it? This is so great having a fact checker. I think that's seltzer f- with flavoring. You think that's seltzer? Yeah. Is it? Silent drum roll going on. (laughs) 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 Oh, I was doing the Beverly Hills. Beverly Hills, that's where I want to be. Seltzer. Okay. Where is the seltzer? Okay. Right. Okay. So is there... So club soda is its own thing. So when someone says, I want this in club soda. Okay, I feel like when somebody says min- they want mineral water. Does that better? Mineral water is club soda. <laughs> Ooh. Mineral water. Wow. You know, you came to this episode. You didn't know what we were talking <laughs> about. But look at this. It's our last episode. We're giving out the facts. That's right. Um, do you know anyone that's ever drink like... I've never had club soda. Have you ever had club soda? I have tasted it. I, uh, well, ooh, what's tonic water? I think that's club is soda. Is it club soda? Fact checker. Tonic water is also carbonated, but also contains phenine, which is mm-hmm. glutamine. Glutamine? Yeah, glutamine. 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 Glutam
quinine. quinine. And added sugar. It has calories. Huh. So sugar and quinine. Okay. So tonic water is different than both of those. I've had tonic. So like, I guess for a little bit, tonic, like specialty tonics was like a thing. Yeah. Um, well, I know uh, Bryn's grandma always drinks tonic water and vodka, I think. Mm-hmm. Um, vodka tonics? Yeah. <laughs> vodka water I said, it, I said it backwards, but yeah. Vodka tonic. Um, but I don't know anybody that's ever drinking club soda. Uh, those people are crazy. That's why. Yeah. Yeah. I know. Th- what is? Oh, quinine. Oh, so quinine. it's probably good for you. So tonic water and malaria. And then you get, add the vodka so in there. You can't get sick. Yeah. It's a cure to COVID-19. Yeah. Cure to COVID-19. You heard it here first. Tonic. Vodka tonic. <laughs> tonic vodka. Tonic <laughs> vodkas are the way to go. Um, oh, man. Yeah, I love those episodes, though. Yeah. Those were good. Mm-hmm. Those were good. I'm trying to think uh, some of my other favorite moments. Um, I, I mean, all of the all of the brewery episodes were so good. Was the Thanksgiving episode our first episode? <clears throat> no, it was our second one. What was our first episode on? Buy All the Government Buildings. Oh, that's right. That was how we started this podcast. Okay. was yeah. like we were talking about can you buy the state hospital. Yeah. I feel like we just did that. I know. It hasn't been that long. Yeah. We should keep going. (laughs) (laughs) Does, uh, uh, does cheers mean cheerful? This was, that was a big one that you had. Yeah. I was pretty sold on that one. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you know what? Uh, this is, we don't have enough time to do this, but, uh, we should have figured out beforehand what, how many, like who won out of all of them. I know. Seriously. Dang it. So if you've done the research, who won more, Zach or Will? And then um, uh, mail us a beer for that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so what was your favorite beer that you had in all the episodes? Oh, that's a good question. My favorite beer. Um, I don't have my thing with me. Um, I really liked that cream one that we had. You remember that cream one? Um, it had the little dinosaur on it. Mm. Uh, it was like one of the random ones I had been picking up from the store. Okay. That cream one. Was it a stout? It was a cream. Oh, I, I do remember that. It was like a cream. It stout was like something. a lighter in color though. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, that one was really good. Okay. Uh, but it wasn't by like a recognizable brewery. Yeah. And actually a couple episodes back we had the, um, the slow brew hazy mm-hmm. that uh slow ha slow, yeah that was uh, really good i have actually i've had that one a few more times after okay and i really i'm actually really digging that right now so our friends just told us that slow brew does a um a membership and they mm-hmm. ship you beers uh i think it's quarterly okay and it's like 50 bucks yeah um and they'll send you like i think they said 24 beers or something like that Per shipment. That's cool. Like that's only two bucks a beer. I, I it's think their, I'm, their beers yeah. only. Mm-hmm. Okay. I think I might do it. That's not bad. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. When they actually have some really good beers right now, like uh, I really like everything that they have. Mm-hmm. Um, a lot of our friends like really don't like them because of the they drink it during college days and oh, they, really? they like really don't like those beers. That's strange. Uh, just because I feel like if you, I don't know drink it at weird times i don't know yeah i feel i feel like that no i don't feel that way about anything <laughs> huh oh yeah i don't really like lemon drinks anymore sometimes when you get sick from things then you never want it again in your life yeah um so i could see like maybe if you're in college and you were drinking too much and it was that mm-hmm. that beer that they had yeah you probably yeah. never want to drink it again yeah you know yeah uh definitely definitely i feel like that's a that's a thing mm-hmm. yeah yeah uh that being said my mom always told me that when i was growing up that being said i got sick one time after eating mexican food my favorite mexican yeah. food uh in porterville uh but <clears throat> I didn't get sick from the food. I got sick because I had the flu, mm-hmm. and I still eat it every mm. time I go home. Um, you know, 
I we both Sven and I got sick on um, Mediterranean food, okay. and we didn't eat it for years. Really, and we still don't really like it that much. We loved it. We that was like our, our date spot. Okay, we would hit that up. It was a restaurant called Metropolis where we okay. went to college, and we would hit it up. Literally weekly. It, uh, it was Matrop Mondays. We went every Monday. That's cool. Um, and they, they actually had hookah. You could you could order a hookah. <laughs> With your dinner? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Ugh, that's well, disgusting. Like you would have dinner, pull the hookah out, and you'd spend hours there just like hanging with friends. That's very strange. No, it was great. <laughs> um, and so we would just like be chilling and Matrop Mondays. So we went. Speaking at, of hookah, not... To change the subject. My, my story. <laughs> Isn't it illegal now in California? Hookah? No. Yeah, I think it is. It's like smoking. Well, you can't have flavored tobacco anymore. The governor banned flavored tobacco. F- fact checker. This is so great to have a fact checker. She's looking it up. Yeah. Um, I thought it was uh, just flavored vapes. No, flavored tobacco. Flavored tobacco. Mm-hmm. Huh. That's all hookah is. So Hookah like, is exempt from the ban. Oh, oh, it is? Really? Maybe because it, it's does, does it say if there's anything else that's exempt? <laughs> <laughs> what else can yeah. I get? <laughs> what are they selling? <laughs> oh, okay. That's interesting. So okay. you can still have flavor cigars. So probably they're just going to change the name of cigarettes that are flavored to cigar. Oh, or cigarellos or something <laughs> yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a cigarello. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's a cigar with a filter. <laughs> that's basically what they do with uh, uh, Black and Milds, right? Yeah. They're, they're cigarettes, but they're cigars. Yeah. Uh, they have the little tip on them or yeah. whatever. <laughs> oh, man. Black and Milds are so good. Oh. Uh. <laughs> um, yeah. So, uh, yeah. Okay. So back to the story. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> um, we got stranded. This is a good story. I don't think I've told this on the podcast. Okay. Final episode story. I don't story. think I've heard this either. Um, so we wanted to go down a river in the town that we, hold on, let's pause for a second. Let's get another beer. Okay. Um, grab my other one in there. I need to finish those things. Ugh. Before we go to story time, we're switching to another beer. We've had a stout. We've had a hazy. And now I can't remember my other beer that I got. Oh, yeah. Oh, we need to talk about that. Zach hates all of these, like, themed reasonings to go to stuff. So, like, the baby moon and the... Um, the uh, push, push present. present. Here's what I... There, there's a thing for everything, and it drives me nuts. There's no need to have a national so-and-so day every single day of the year. So-and-so day. It's ridiculous. There's all... There, it's too... You don't you like take National the, Donut Day? You take the special out of the holiday. You know what I mean? Like, if you have a holiday for every single thing, it yeah. takes the, the special... Yeah, I know, and you're taking away the special the specialness of the baby by giving a present. Here, uh, here's a distraction from the baby. Here's your present. So I said it kind of off mic, but we're talking about we're uh, uh, Sven and I are trying to plan a uh, a baby moon, right? Which is a little honeymoon getaway before you have your baby. We were thinking about Cancun, but now we're thinking about San Diego, mm. more local. And uh, yeah, Zach's very against this. But you're less against that because that just sounds that's, like a fun trip. Yeah, that's fine. You, but you want to do a trip. But I, I don't <laughs> think it needs to be called a baby moon. It's just like we're going to go on a trip before we have this kid because it's going to be the last trip we can go on for but a few you, years. You were. It's like the last trip. The last trip. But that's why do you got to name it? You know it what? Needs it's a name. Oh and then gosh. and then I was like, well, we're thinking about doing a push present. That's that's over the top. <laughs> it just blows my freaking mind. And I was like, she just bore, well, she hasn't done it yet, but she is going to bear our child through childbirth. Right. She needs a present. No. A push present. That's like you giving. Know how hard pregnancy and birth is? Yeah, I feel like. That's like, okay. You need a mic. <laughs> that's like if Savannah cleaned her plate up, you know, 
like ate everything off of her plate, and then you're like, here's a present. You're comparing me growing a human and giving birth. That's the present. The baby is the present. Literally. Uh, if you couldn't hear the baby's the present if you couldn't hear the and there's no reason uh, that you should be distracted by a present when you just had a freaking baby you like all your attention should be going to this baby not a present so if you want to hear more about zach's <laughs> ramblings you can support <laughs> I'm us sorry, on patreon Savannah. Uh, 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 no, i'm sorry savannah right. <laughs> she gets her present still because i'm <laughs> i'm her husband uh, yeah zach's like what are you doing i'm like well, I get to go on the trip too. <laughs> no, the trip's fine. I get the, I get the trip. That that makes sense. You I don't think don't it needs like a name. name. I don't think it needs a name. You don't like labels. Well, I push present in the trip anyway. Yeah. Sure. A second. Yeah. So she gets a push present and then she gets a baby moon. Okay. See, a push present is supposed to be just a gift. Right. Usually like a ring, right? It's supposed to be like a ring or a jewelry. I could see you giving the baby a gift. The baby's going to get the gift of 18 years of free ride. Baby's getting the gift of life. Baby's getting the gift of no, life. No, you're getting the gift of life. No. So is the baby. So the baby's the gift. <laughs> the baby is getting a free ride for 18 plus years. I think this is just going to be one of those things I can't wrap my head around. Okay. I mean, okay. I'm sorry. I I want to I want to like okay. it. But well, uh, it just sounds crazy to me. Well, in that, uh, let's go to our beer corner. <laughs> it's like if your car broke down and you're like, here's a gift. Thanks for towing my car. Yeah. You, you're not going to tip the guy that towed your car? No, absolutely not. I would only not tip the tow guy if he was taking my car un, like, unsolicited. <laughs> if you're getting a DUI <laughs> That has happened. No, something. no. <laughs> no, uh... If the police called the tow truck or if uh, in college I was parked in a lot that they were trying to close down and they, they towed, they your towed car? my car. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, wait, wait. Tell me. The, did, so did you wake up and you're just like, where's my no, car? No. So I parked there and I knew I had a certain amount of time. A test went long and I ran over there right after I knew. The test went really long, and I was like, oh, they're closing this lot down at 3. Yeah. I was running out there at like 3.30 or 4. Oh, my God. And there's a tow truck. I got there right before the, the tow truck's right there, about to tow my car. Like, it's he's, like, setting it up to latch it on. Oh and I was like, gosh. stop. Let me just move my car. He's like, I'm already here. Click, and then he, like. No, I, dude, I would have fought that guy. I should have. Yeah. Um, or called the police and been like, this was, guy's stealing my car. I should have done something like that, yeah. Uh, but back then I was a, a small child, oh but a small child. All right, let's go to the beer corner before I explain, uh, uh, why we got sick at Metropolis. Okay. Okay. So we're drinking, this is beer corner number three. Hello. Yep. Uh, strawberry milkshake from Novo. It's a Brasilia, Brazil brewing co in California. Wait, that makes no sense. In Chula Vista, Brazil brewing co. But then it says San Diego, Cali. That's very confusing. Wait, wait, wait. What wait is, is Chula Vista San Diego? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, it's a like mm-hmm. a section of San Diego. Okay, so it's a strawberry milkshake. You know, shake. like Isla Vista in oh, Santa Barbara. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so this is a seasonal lactose, which I guess means milk, mm-hmm. uh, hazy IPA. Oh my gosh, this sounds disgusting. <laughs> 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 An IPA milkshake, strawberry. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Seven, Anything else in there? Seven seven percent alcohol. Uh, it's brewed in California, inspired by Brazil. I don't know what that means. Um, it contains lactose. Uh, so let's do it. <laughs> All right. Hit me up. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I even opened the glass. There it is. There it is. Wait, did you keep our glasses? Yeah. No I'm sorry, Savannah. I feel really bad. I just can't wrap my head around that. You should feel bad. I do. No, I feel, I feel bad. That I, it's just, I don't know. That's beer? Yeah. Oh, you want some more? Uh, no, that's perfect. Cool. <laughs> Zach feels bad. 
Oh, look at it. We got three beers down. Cheers. All right, Prost. Oh, wow. That's kind of good. That's really freaking good. Oh, man, that's sweet. Now, it's... milkshake brings all the boys <laughs> <in>. <laughs> You know, I don't think it tastes like a milkshake. I think it tastes like strawberry icing. Like icing There's on a cake. There's in there. No, uh, no, I tried to. Yeah. Um, it does take, taste like, like cake ice, icing. Like, like mm-hmm. cake, yeah, the outside yeah. cake mm-hmm. icing. Oh, a little sweet. Svena, I'm not giving this to a pregnant woman. <laughs> don't, don't judge me. This is actually like a really fun beer. Right. Yeah. yeah, that's like a dessert beer. Yeah, that's really good. It doesn't. I don't know. I was expecting it to be sort of stout like like the last one. I was expecting it to taste like an IPA. It doesn't taste like an IPA. Gosh, that's really good. Yeah. Okay, new favorite beer. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I don't know. That, that's super interesting. Well, mm. when you go down to San Diego, you should go buy this place. Um. Yeah. Let me try to remember that. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like one of those things. Like, let me try to remember that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll try to remember that. Yeah. Um, okay, so back to the story. Oh, the brewery's called uh, Novo Brazil Brewing. Mm. Oh, okay. So I wonder if all their beers are Brazilian influenced. That's really interesting. Yeah. Anyway, that's weird to have like a Brazilian inspired thing on like practically the Mexican border. Yeah. <laughs> in okay. the United States. Yeah. <laughs> I guess it makes sense. Sure. Uh, Brazil is in South America. Yeah. Okay. So, I mean, it's closer. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> yeah. Um, it's like, so yeah, I guess it would be closer to San Diego than it would be like Oregon or something. Sure. So. Yeah. I don't okay. Know. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. One of the closest uh, California cities to Brazil. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Um, yeah, Brazil's... What, what's the language of Brazil? Do you know? It's Portuguese. Good. Mm-hmm. I had a Brazilian roommate, Felipe. Oh, cool. Mm-hmm. Hey, yeah. Felipe. <laughs> <laughs> One of our 40 listeners. Yeah. Um, I really like this beer. It's great. Yeah. Okay. So back to the story. There's been like a 10-minute wait for this story. Okay. So, Sven and I... I'm visiting Savannah. I think I was away. Fact check. Uh, I was away at my internship. Summer after. after f- yeah. I was living in Athens, Georgia. Greece. Athens, oh. Greece. <laughs> Georgia. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I was visiting her and we were, some friends told us about, or I had just floated down a river mm-hmm. in Georgia. Uh, and it was really fun. And it was, a, there's a big river. Um, what's a river in, in our town? In uh, the college town. Oconee. Oconee. Yep. Oconee. The Oconee okay. River. A lot of uh, Native American uh, names in that area. Okay. Um, so we floated down it with some friends. Um, we had some beers with us, and it mm-hmm. was a lot of fun. And we got out at this, like, um, one-hour mark um, where there was, like, a pull-out. And mm-hmm. you could pull out... Uh, um, it was like one or two hours. It was really fun. Yeah. And we used yeah. to do that every weekend in, yeah. in Porterville. Yeah. It's really fun to do. Yeah. And so I was like, this would be really fun to do with Savannah. Mm-hmm. So I told her about it and we were like, okay, when I come down, I'll do it with you. And we go and you start at a dam. Like, uh, mm-hmm. and that's why the last trip was fast because the dam was flowing really well. Mm-hmm. So when we went, Sven and I, uh, the dam was not flowing at all. Okay. So it took us... So you had to walk your rafts. It took us a long time to get to the point where we pulled out. But, but then we were like, well, why don't we just keep going? It shouldn't take too long to get to this further point. Yeah. And the further point was like back in town. Okay. And we're like, this will be fun. Seven hours. <laughs> Seven were you burnt hours. to a crisp? We were fried. Oh my there gosh. was a point that we tried to get out. And pull our rafts. Okay. And uh, one of our rafts popped because we tried to hop a barbed wire fence. We ended up in a bull field, a field of bulls. (laughs) And they were just staring at us. And we were like, oh, my gosh, we need to get out of here. (laughs) 
and seven hours we were in the sun. That's ridiculous. And we finally made it. Uh, So, like, yeah. So, she rode on the last raft, and I just was hanging on the raft pushing her. Yeah. And it was it was it was pretty awful, <laughs> pretty awful. And I think that was the same day, right? We went to Metropolis. Yeah. Yeah. Same day. So we go to Metropolis. Mm-hmm. We're wiped out. We're like, we just want to get some food. We get there, and we're, and they had this like uh, Mediterranean burger, okay. and they didn't have it. Uh, that time we went, and we were like, you guys just had this Mediterranean burger. Do you still have it? And he's like, yeah, let me check. Never ask like that. Never do that. <laughs> uh, we've learned our lessons. If they have to go look and see if they have something, so you guys have old. That means it's probably. old. Yeah. That means it's old. Don't do it, listeners, viewers. Uh, so he sa- he's, he comes back and he's like, "Yeah, we can do that for you." And we're like, "Okay, yeah, two two Mediterranean burgers." Um, we both had the worst uh, food poisoning okay. for days. Uh, out of the mouth or out of the butt? Out of the butt. Oh, man. Both of us. Yeah. Well, at least you weren't vomiting. I think I'd rather have that than vomiting. I think so, too. Yeah. 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 I don't remember what this story was inspired by, but... Um. So, did I ever tell you about the first time I floated the river? No. Tell me about it. Uh, okay. So, I was, I think, a freshman in high school, maybe a sophomore. No, I was a sophomore because I had just gotten my car. Um... And my dad's telling me, oh, yeah, back in high school, we used to float the river all the time. Da, da, da. And so I told Mitchell and Brandon and this other guy that you haven't met, Dylan, um, that, yeah, let's do it. And they're like, OK, we're down. And so we drive up there. We drop a car off, or we drop a car off at the bottom, drive up to the top, leave a car there. And we start at the dam. Uh, terrible idea because the water was flowing so hard and they don't. Um, manage the river up there yeah and so there was a lot of trees and stuff that were growing into the river and i'm the uh, the only one on a raft uh, round raft everybody else is on like a pool floaty and for some whatever reason they could like steer the raft a little bit better because yeah. it was i don't know why it was just more movable and we're going around this corner and i freaking i'm like pushing against this tree to like go around it and the water's flowing so hard it sucked me under and a branch hit me right here. And oh, the gosh. water was flowing over my head and under my feet. And I thought I was going to die. Literally, like, I was just like, this is how I'm going to die. This is crazy. And I'm, like, under there. And I'm, like, pushing against the branch as hard as I could. And then I let go. And it sucked me under. And when I finally popped back up, uh, Mitchell had got out of the river. He was in the tree pulling up the branches trying to find me. Oh, my gosh. And, like, scariest moment of my life yeah. absolutely crazy then we freaking uh there's a couple of waterfalls it's like a mini dam mm-hmm. and brandon's raft got stuck and so i like try both of us tried to go get the raft and the concrete because it had been hitting water so much was like razor blades and so we pushed put our hands on it and it just sliced our hands oh my gosh so he ended up having to share a raft with somebody or like hold on to a raft mm-hmm. the rest of the way then we got out for the second waterfall and walked around. By that time, I had already lost my sandals because my raft flipped over whenever um, I was in that tree. Yeah. And we had to walk around this area. It was like pokey stuff everywhere. And so I got like these tiny little needles all in my feet. And I had had, ended up having to go to the doctor the next day for him to pull all this stuff oh out. Oh, my gosh. Um, and then we freaking, we finally get to the very bottom and it was like your trip, like five hours or, yeah. you know, it was a long time. And my dad's waiting down there at the bottom of the river. And he was like, well, how was it? And I was just like, it was freaking awful. <laughs> He's like, you were gone a long time. I'm like, you have no idea. <laughs> this was terrible. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Uh, come to know you actually start on J street and you float all the way down to Westwood. Yeah. And you start uh, to, yeah, to we start right. Yeah. Right yeah. where the water is coming out. I think if there's a lesson from either of these stories is just stay in the raft. <laughs> yeah. Like get out when you can, mm-hmm. but stay in the raft. Yeah. Every time you get off the raft problem. Yeah. But we've done that several times. Uh, cause we also, we would float the Thule, but then we would also, uh, there's one, in Visalia that's called the St. John's River. And that one, 
you'll start at the beginning, the river will be flowing just fine, and then it forks. Yeah. And where it forks, it loses half the water. And mm-hmm. we I've done that several times where you got to walk your raft, oh, you know, gosh. for probably a good half mile or whatever. Yeah. But, yeah. Gosh, that's the worst. Yeah. Yeah. But it's when you get a good water day. Yeah. It's it's like you're on vacation. Well, and that was the thing with 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 the first trip. I had so much fun. Mm-hmm. I uh, we had like you know a case of beer with us, and we all had fun rafts, and yeah, we had a blast. Yeah, and we all like were chatting, having a good time, mm-hmm. cracking beers. It was good. Yeah. And then when when Sven and I went, it was it was fun. It I turns into more work when you got yeah. Off. It was it was a very memorable day. Yeah, (laughs) let's say that for sure. Yeah, that's funny. Yeah, Ah, this beer is really very good. good. It's really good. I'm very surprised. I think uh, the next one that we're gonna have is gonna taste very similar. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're raining it in. Yeah, raining it in. That's hard to say. Rain, raining, raining it in. Rain it. Say it fast. Raining it in. Raining it in. Raining it in. Raining it in. Yeah. Hmm. (laughs) Um. Yeah. What's a, what's uh, some other moments of uh, the podcast that you really enjoyed? Mm. Definitely loving eggnog now. That's that's my life. Yeah, uh, I enjoyed the <laughs> the one that we did over the phone, the COVID one, mm-hmm. because when you called me, I was already like five beers deep. Oh, really? And I was just like, "This is great." <laughs> That was very talkative. <laughs> That's funny, though, because I kept that episode so short. It was short. Uh, it was, I should have kept going then. Yeah. yeah. That's funny. <laughs> We've never done like a drink too much on this show. Right. Episode. Yeah. We should we should have done that. <laughs> this is our smash episode. <laughs> the smashed episode. <laughs> so uh, one of my favorite podcasts is that gear or not the gear one, but the um, uh, 60 cycles. Uh, Cycle, 60, 60 cycle hum. hum yeah. And they, when they first started their show, it was like them drinking a lot. Oh, really? And he would crash at his house. Oh, okay. And they would get real sloshy on their show. That sounds fun. That yeah. sounds more like, like something you do in college. Yeah. I mean, we're adults now. Yeah. We run, we're very professional. Yes. This, this show, I mean, you've got, we both have ties on right now. Keep it classy, San Diego. Keep it classy. That that show was in San Diego, mm-hmm. actually. Yeah, San Diego. Yeah. Well, yeah. Um, I'm trying to think. I really liked... I have to like just look at the episode names for yeah. uh, just reference. I really liked... Um, the Gilligan Island one was really fun. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, also, informationally, uh, the fluoridation one. Did they put fluoride oh, yeah, in the yeah, water? Yeah, that yeah. was, yeah. I think I learned more in that episode than yeah. the majority of them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I feel like um, I feel like several of them were pretty educational. Mm-hmm. Um, I like the Bermuda Triangle one. I, I know that one was a lot about death. Yeah, that was a little. That, that was, was a little dark. That was our pre-funeral episode. <laughs> pre-funeral. <laughs> That's why the show is ending today. <laughs> yeah. Um, what what other things? Um, <laughs> I don't like know. It's funny because oh, going to last night I was like thinking about what we we're gonna talk about, mm-hmm. and I don't know why I just started thinking of so many podcast ideas. I was just like, piece of crap, I'm never gonna know any of this stuff. I, and I could literally just Google it, but I was just yeah. like, I'm never gonna know this because we're not <laughs> doing the podcast. <laughs> literally, the last week or two, I've had probably five or ten podcast ideas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and and even at work, we've talked about a few. Yeah. Like several, yeah. actually. And we're uh-huh. like, well, that's a great podcast episode right there. <laughs> yeah. And we're like, oh, gosh, my darn gosh. It. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I mean, this, to be honest, this show could come back. Like right now and then when we have the baby, you know, yeah. maybe, maybe we stop it for a little while. But, you know, if I'm full time and I have some extra time, you know, I could pull this out again. Mm-hmm. Um, if... I mean, there's a lot of there's a lot of ways that we can pull it back out. If, if there, I mean, after this episode, there's like, wait, we don't want you to go off, and then people actually do give us money. That'd be cool. Yeah. Um, you know, I don't know. Like, I'm not saying this isn't like an ultimatum, you know, episode where it's like, give us money or we're going off. But <laughs> it's like the tithing, 
a sermon you at know, church. <laughs> Jesus is not going to love you if you don't give. <laughs> um, I've sat through too many of those. Tell you what. Oh, I'm so Growing dumb. up in a small town in a small yeah. church. Oh, gosh. Oh, this is another tithing sermon. <laughs> oh, gosh. It's like I already do it, but then it's like, it's like, okay, I know. They should just, t- they should tell the people that already tithe to just, you know, stay home. That, that <laughs> <laughs> You don't need to come next week. <laughs> yeah. It's like, I already know. I actually, our, our church doesn't really do too many repeats because they, they tend to go through um, books. Okay. So like they go like top to bottom books and for like years. Yeah. I feel like Mountain Brook kind of did that too. Um, it was almost like being in a Sunday school class. Mm-hmm. Um it's a lot to take in sometimes, but ultimately it's a lot of good information. Yeah. I'd rather, I, honestly, I'd rather go to a sermon that was like a Sunday school class. So then I don't have to go to a Sunday school class and a sermon. <laughs> sure. You know? Well, but back in the South though, like every church had probably every quarter, like a, uh, a, a tithing. I don't know. A lot of the ones I went. What's that? Our church does now because they had a financial issue last year. They don't have money. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's mostly college. Right. Like, it's a yeah. large college that was percentage. the same thing of Mountain Brook. Yeah. Um, I think we're, we're good now, though. Um, but, well, well, our church is the opposite. They don't do, like, any tithing. And then last year, they had the tithing issue. Hmm. Yeah, um, I went to a church in uh, Fresno that was called The Well. Mm-hmm. And it was kind of the same thing. As Mountain Brook, I think it was under the Vineyard uh, movement. Yeah, yeah. And um, they were kind of like, their deal was like they had tithing uh, boxes when you're walking out. Oh, okay. Um, but they were like on the wall and just like no. like on the side of the wall. And yeah. Like you could totally miss it. And I was just always like, man, I don't know how this, like how people remember to tithe. And then like a year later that church closed they had like four campuses yeah. in fresno and they closed yeah. all of them but one yeah it's a balance because like yeah you need to talk about it but also over talking about it in the south it's like i i really feel like every quarter it was like a really? discussion of it yeah at whatever church we were at it makes sense though i mean that's how they stay in business yeah um but at the same time i don't know i feel like people don't like there's certain people that like take responsibility. Like this is what I need to do to provide for my church. Mm -hmm. And then there's certain people that, you know, don't think about anything. Yeah. Which mostly is what society is nowadays. I'll I'll be honest. Like it's, it's hard to be able to give 10% when you, when it's hard to just, I mean, housing prices are so Uh, expensive. It's it's just, yeah. yeah, it's very difficult. But I mean, we don't do 10%. It's, yeah. it's too much. I, I, we couldn't afford it. Yeah. Uh, sadly. But I know that's what, you know, is kind of like the standard, you know. It's, it's what it is. is, is or it was. I don't know if it still <laughs> is. Now this is turning into a Christian <laughs> podcast. Uh, it, it, is, it, is what, it is what you can, but like it's supposed to be a sacrifice. It, yeah. That's what it is. It's, yeah. Like, I mean, if we were taking out the amount that we were to, uh, like, if we weren't giving the amount that we were, mm-hmm. we would have more money. Right. And we could do something with it. Yeah. Uh, but ultimately, that is our sacrifice. Like, we can't afford a house right now. Yeah. We don't take as many trips as we want to. And it's a sacrifice. Mm-hmm. You, as long as you're, you know, Gosh. you're giving is a, is a, you're thinking about it. Do you unplug? Uh, no, I think I'm good. Yeah. As long as like you're thinking about it and actually giving it, you know? Yeah. Uh, and that it's a sacrifice to you. Um, then, then that is, that is the giving, you yeah. know, yeah. that it is, um, I mean, not enough to like make you in poverty, right. you know, yeah. but, uh, enough that, you know, you're giving and you're supporting like, yeah, I feel like, I mean, our, uh, again, our tithing isn't 10%. Like, there's no way we could, 10% would be so, like, right. a lot. Yeah. Uh, we would be struggling a lot if yeah. we did, if we gave 10. But we're giving enough that, like, I feel like it's a good benefit for our church. Mm-hmm. It's it's um, where we are in life, you know, it's good. Yeah. Um, 
and you know as as our wealth increases that we'll, we'll give more yeah. but um yeah yeah <laughs> that's your christian <laughs> moment yeah um yeah let's crack this last beer let's go for another beer corner all right I like how we're like, we're only having two beers each, but having like four different beers each. Yeah. Last beer. Okay, what'd Last you Last one. Last beer. Ever. Oh, wait, high water. Yep. Oh, we already had high water. We did. Oh, both ears are from high water. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Zach has brought the Break Apart Orange Cream Ale. Okay. So you had gotten that one from Liquid Gravity. Yeah, that was good. Honestly, I think that was my favorite beer that I've ever had on the podcast. Okay. And I saw that and I was just like, all right. Okay. Well, try this one out and see okay. what it compares like. So this one is an orange cream ale, ale brewed with cacao nib and orange peel. Cacao! So, <laughs> so chocolate and orange. Break Apart Orange Cream Ale is a delightful tribute to the eponymous? Eponymous? Eponymous. Eponymous? That is, that is not a Maybe real word. Maybe it's a silent P. Like, or a, a, a a silent E. Like, possum. Okay. Opossum, you know? Well, the confectionery treat. <laughs> <laughs> I will not read that word. We feature four varieties of sun-kissed orange peels, uh, cacao nibs from cacao. Ghana, and hints of vanilla, creating a flavor memory in your mouth. Period. Right. Tap into our bright, delicious, and refreshing orange cream ale. Um, why do these descriptions have like the biggest words? <laughs> can can we switch all breweries out there? If you're watching this final episode of our podcast, please use uh, third grade reading level. <laughs> Thank you. Maybe even less. <laughs> <laughs> this is five point four. Uh, that's all it says. Let's cool. do it. Should I rinse these out? No, that's all right. Okay. Very nice. Speaking of very nice, uh, did you see they're coming out with a Borat 2? <laughs> I never saw Borat 1. I didn't either. <laughs> but yeah, I guess it's they've been like secretly recording it. All right. Yeah. So from the trailer, cheers. Roast. From the trailer of Borat 2, it looks mm. like... It's very refreshing. That's, good. that's pretty good. It's smooth. Not too heavy. It kind of tastes like 7-Up a little bit with some orange. I actually don't taste chocolate. Do you taste chocolate? I taste the eponymous. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. <laughs> yeah, I saw that they're coming out with that and never saw the first one. Uh, I know some of the jokes from the first one, yeah. but... And it looked like it was more of a um, hidden reality show. Oh, and okay. I think that's how they shot the first one, though. So oh, I really? think it's just to make it look like that. Okay. Um, but, yeah, because it's like, I'm going to stay with you at your house. And then he stays with some, like, right-wing, like, super conservative people at their okay. house. Did you Is watch he, the tr full trailer? No, I, I haven't seen any of it. You should watch the full trailer. Okay. Uh, it looks funny. I mean... Because uh, he's making fun of COVID, and then he's making fun of, I think, the election, too. Okay. Um, But I think, like, just like South Park, we're like... Oh, did you watch the pandemic I did, episode? but I saw a clip from I, it. I started watching the first couple minutes, but my TV was, like, getting uh, bad signals. Yeah. And so I had to delete the recording and record it later, so yeah. I haven't watched it yet. But Well, it's kind of like what I, I love about comedy in general is, like, the people that make fun of both sides. Right. Like, yeah. that's what... I love that. Yeah. I right. mean, you got to be appeal to everyone. Yeah. You know? Well, because like, I feel like Borat's going to appeal to both sides because it's ridiculous. Yeah. Even like COVID, just both sides are dumb about COVID. Yeah. It's, uh, it's either too far or too little. Yeah. And yeah. then, and then just, yeah. So, just going so, back to the debate. <laughs> it's just like, it's, it, both sides suck. Okay, yeah. So I know we've talked about this in the past. 
uh, Home Depot, how they weren't enforcing. And then like they used to have this big, long line and now they're letting everybody in. Yeah. Home Depot is up and down with what their procedures are. What with are they COVID. Doing now? It's crazy. Now they have somebody. So they used to have people cleaning the carts. Nobody's cleaning the carts now. Yeah. Now they just have some guy sitting up front and he's like, here's your mask, sir. To people that aren't wearing masks. Yeah. And I'm walking in and the guy in front of me is not wearing a mask. And he here's your mask, sir. And he goes, No, thank you. <laughs> and just keeps walking. <laughs> and the guy didn't say anything. Yeah. I was just like, this is so freaking r- ridiculous. It's yeah. it's it's awful. Yeah. I, I just that's what I hate is the inconsistency. Oh, <laughs> it's yeah. like you're paying somebody to stand there to enforce masks, but not really enforce the mask, yeah. you know? It's uh, it's and that just like the inconsistency, oh my gosh, just like uh, everything. Like that's the thing is like that, that, and that goes back to one of the first things we were talking about today was that the, it's polar. It's, it's gone so right. polar yeah. that it's either like insanity on either side. So here's what you either have to side do. Is so insane. You go into a restaurant or you go into a winery or a brewery or anything. You have to wear a mask when you walk in. The second you get your drink, you don't have to wear the mask anymore. Exactly. It's yes. insane. Yeah. Like that, uh, who is the one that's making these rules? Like who who is saying, oh, that makes sense. Let's have them wear a mask when they walk in, but then they don't have to wear a mask afterwards. It's 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 I mean, that's the only, I mean, that makes sense. I mean, that rule actually, you know, finally, I mean, basically like servers should wear masks. Okay. And then sitting at a table, you should wear a mask. If you're moving around, or you shouldn't wear a mask sitting at a table because you're eating and you're drinking. Yeah, but, I but, mean, you can. If you're moving around, put your mask on. Mm-hmm. Servers should always wear. The food preppers should wear, you know. And then, So if you're and then walking it, in, though, you know? you're walking in. Is there any difference between you walking in, not wearing a mask, and you sitting down, not wearing a mask? Yeah, because you can control the bubble at you sitting, right? So you can separate the seats right. within so six feet So when you walk in, you just need to make sure that you're six feet from people and you don't need a mask. But right? you're passing by tables. Just you wear the mask as you pass by tables. So okay. like just that's why they say like, you know, if you're moving about, put the mask on. OK. And that's going to protect the people sitting and you from the people that are sitting mm. uh, as you are moving around. Okay. Like, see, some of the things that they're doing now is like, OK, you finally after what seven months eight months have figured it out uh nine it has started, it been nine it started in march February. right well they started talking about in february everything yeah shut down in march yeah so yeah eight months. but not all the states are agreeing on all this stuff so right. i mean well, look at freaking sweden they never did anything and they've had the lowest numbers out of everybody it's like <laughs> it's a small what the heck? it's a small country yeah i don't know it it's a little different um but like i mean, I mean to me like that makes sense okay so like like, okay, there's some general, there's some general, like, we're thinking about these things now. Yeah. But then the stuff like, like you're saying, like, okay, uh, someone walks in, you have a mask on policy, and then you offer them a mask and they say no, but you let them in, and you're not cleaning the carts, you, what are you doing? You're right. Uh, and the gas station that we go to, yeah, they have a sign right in the center of the door. Yeah, must wear mask and everything. I walk in and the lady's like, "Oh, you don't have to wear your mask." Now. Yeah, I mean, I wear fr- like I talk to this lady all the time. Yeah, because I go in there a few times a week. It's but just like agreeing on these policies, and I mean, I mean, you know, I I'm not gonna like go politic with this, but if there was a federal like, this is what you should do. Yeah, and it was all agreed upon. That would be so helpful. Well, I mean, what's the difference between federal and state? I mean, well, if, even it, but even our state's not doing it either. True. Like even I mean, just some sort of like agreement about stuff. Uh, t- to me, like, like I was saying, like the the restaurant, if they're doing it, you know, like I was just saying, like yeah. if they do it that way, that's the only thing that kind of makes sense to me. And then the same, our hospital's done a really good job. You know what's weird about the hospital that I think about every once in a while is you can force these guys to do most things, right? Mm. You can force them to take medications. You can force them to, uh, you know, not be violent. Like, you, you know, there's a there's a consequence if you're violent, right? Mm. Um, and you basically force them to cover up. You and but. 
you can't force them to wear a mask. That is very interesting to me. But that's the thing is like because it's not a federal or a state. Like, it is state. But not force. It's not like it's not like there's no there's no like must do this or this. No, I mean, I thought that's what Gavin's been saying is like these he, are what what he, we he says it, but like there's nothing there's nothing forced, and because there's no there's no weight behind it, then it's not a thing. Uh, and then people are worried about their rights being. It's just it's such a really I mean. It's hard though. I mean, I'm not saying I'm I know the right decision. Your own, yeah. Um, but like, it's such a hard, like, masters. Like, it's it's so hard. Yeah. Uh, and then America is such a free country. Like, everyone is really wanting. Their Supposed to be. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, but ultimately, everybody wants their rights. And when you hear the arguments, it's like, I mean, yeah, sure, yeah, you can do whatever you want. I mean, technically, yeah. but like. Uh, it's a pandemic. There, I mean, it's so hard. It's so hard, and that's why the rest of the world is laughing at us because oh, yeah. because we have these freedoms, and then those freedoms are interfering with what should be some sort of federal, uh, even statewide, like control. Yeah, and we can't control it because the freedoms. Yeah, you know, uh, <laughs> you know what I mean. Like, yeah. I don't know. As a citizen, I'm just like, sure. <laughs> I'll put the mask on when I need to put the mask on. Yeah. I'll it's funny though. Cause you like, you walk into different places and you can totally, it's like a milieu. Like mm -hmm. you're like, Oh, okay. It's cool not to wear a mask. Here, yeah. Know? Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. For sure. Yeah. And then, I mean, that's how we feel like, well, and then everybody's different. Like we have, we have friends that, you know, well, they just had a baby. So, mm -hmm. you know, that makes sense to, you know, hunker down, Yeah, make sure things are secure. And then for us, it's like, I go to a hospital every day that's not, you know, protected. Right. So um, I tell my friends that I work there. They know that I work there. If they want to hang out with me, yeah. they know the risks of hanging out with me. Yeah. Yeah. I'm All gonna the risks are just that one risk. Uh, no, there's the one risk. <laughs> well, the other risk is me punching them in the face. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> hey, um, at least I know the risk. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. my gosh. Speaking of punching in the face... I, I don't know if I had a, either a dream or I legit. So I used to sleepwalk when I was a little kid, right? Okay. Ooh, and, I didn't know this fact. Oh, yeah. And okay. especially when I was sick, almost every time that I'm sick, I sleepwalk. Uh, and I don't really? know if it's because of the temperature or what. One time, I, because I used to sleep on the couch when I, when I was sick when I was a little kid in the yeah. living room. So my mom could like hear me and my dad could hear me, you know. My dad used to come home real late from the restaurant because on the weekends they close at you know ten eleven o'clock, and so he'd stay down there for a couple hours getting stuff cleaned up, and uh, I remember him waking me up one night and he's like Zach, uh, the front door's open. Did you open the front door? And I was just like, no. And then I rem when I woke up, I was like, I remember like a dream that I was staring into a bright light. Across the street from our house was a big uh, street light. And I'm pretty sure I walked outside and was just staring at the streetlight. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so that was that was one time. Anyway. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. I slept walk one, one time when I was in Bakersfield visiting my grandma. And my mom could not control me whatsoever. I was walking around all the house and stuff. And I totally remember now her telling me. And I usually have the same dream, too. That's the weird thing when I sleepwalk. Yeah. I have the same exact dream that there's this bomb. That's going to go off. Yeah, it's really, <laughs> really freaking weird. Um, anyway, uh, so, yeah, uh, the other night I woke up and uh, my wife was like, what is she saying? She's like, telling me something, like, move the dog or something as the dog was laying on her. And um, I was just like, you need to move. You're laying right in the center of the bed. And the next morning I told her, I was like, I'm pretty sure, like, before... I told you that you were laying in the center of the bed. I like, like flipped up and thought that you were someone else and I was going to hit you. And then I remember like thinking, is this a good idea to hit this person? <laughs> and then I was just like, no, it's probably not a good idea. And I went back to bed. What? So I don't know if I was dreaming it or if I actually did it, like was going to hit her. Oh my her. gosh. Yeah. It Have was, you talked to her? Oh, I this? told her and she's like, oh, I'm glad you didn't. <laughs> but... Uh, yeah, I mean, it's like, you're not really, when you sleepwalk, you're just, you're like, 
things just don't make sense. Like you, yeah. uh, it's really weird. Like you just do things because it's like this, like you're on autopilot almost. That's really weird. Yeah. Mm. Wow. But yeah. I'm a sleepwalker. We That's had that one fact. patient. Remember they put him in restraints yeah. and the next day he woke up and he was just like, Oh yeah, I sleepwalk. That's and so the, weird. Yeah. That's, that's absolutely bizarre. Uh, that would be a whole new episode on itself if you <laughs> just subscribe on Patreon. Yeah, what causes sleepwalking? Yeah, that'd be really interesting. Yeah, but it's it's usually when I'm sick is when I sleepwalk. Mm. That's really weird. Yeah. Like you're just in a weird mental state? Yeah, mm. yeah. It's like you're, you're awake, but like you're in a dream state too. Yeah. That's so weird. I know. Huh. Well, that would be an interesting interesting episode. Yeah. Um, well, let's get to an end here. All right. Um, it's been an amazing show. It was nice knowing you. It's been nice knowing you. Yeah. I will never see you at work again. Yeah. Just kidding. We well, sit right next to each other. I mean, outside other. of work. But yeah. yeah. What, what are you talking about? We'll still hang out. Okay. Those Friday I'm, hangouts. I'm going to hold you to it. That was fun. Okay. The Friday beer at, at uh, what was it, Santa Maria. Well, I'm going to hold you to it then. And then we talked to the guy. He said we could record there. I know. We should still record there. Record. Bring our <laughs> microphones, but then like. <laughs> oh, darn. It didn't record. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know. <laughs> well, uh, for the watchers, for the viewers and the listeners, are there three different types of groups? Um, yeah. I mean, this show could come back, you know. If there is a lot of support for it, if there's a lot of people saying that we should come back, then maybe yeah. we will. What's going to happen with the podcast? Is it going to stay oh, on? Good question, Zach. So uh, I am going to close down the podcast part of the okay. show. Okay. I'm going to put all the episodes on Patreon. Okay. So if you're a patron, like it, it costs nothing for us to host Patreon. Okay. Patreon. So if you want the show to come back, like I'm, I'm pretty serious about this. If it was making a hundred bucks a month, I would still keep the show going. Mm -hmm. And I had a lot of ideas to expand and grow the show. Right. We were going to, I was talking about in the last few episodes, um, we were going to uh, collaborate with a few other podcasts. Yeah. We're um, going to do the chips. We're going to do the chips. And I had several ideas. The problem is I just don't have time for that. I could have time if it was part of my business model. Right. Yeah. So again, um, I mean, this isn't really an ultimatum, but it's, it is, if you want this show to survive, then, you know, su support us on Patreon. I'm going to put all 46 or whatever episodes mm -hmm. on Patreon for you to listen if you want to. I'm going to also put all 46 episodes, the ones that I don't have for videos. On I'm YouTube. Gonna, on YouTube. Okay. I'm going to put a clip, like, just like our, our logo. Okay. And That's I'm going to cool. put all of those on YouTube. Uh, for anyone to go back and listen to mm -hmm. so that our YouTube hosts uh, everything. Yeah. And our YouTube uh, will we'll continue. It's free to host that, so cool. no big deal. Yeah. But I am going to close, in the next couple months, the actual podcast platform. Okay. You won't be able to find this on Spotify or any of the other tunes. platforms. Okay. Uh, in, I don't know. Unless it might uh, it might keep us. I don't, I don't know. But I think if I, I turned it off, it wouldn't keep us anymore. Okay. But... Uh, that will happen in the next few months. I, I want people to listen to this and have time to like hear about it. Yeah. But um, but everything will be on YouTube. Everything will be on Patreon. Uh, again, like yeah, if you want to support it, I, I really think like uh like a hundred bucks. I, I feel like I would want to keep going with it. Yeah. Um, and and ultimately we could grow the show. Uh, when we have our baby and and after you know heavy wedding season this year, yeah. like we could talk about you know reviving it. Um, if you liked it, even if you, you know, can't financially support it, just, you know, tell me, you know, tell us in person, yeah. tell us, uh, on when, uh, any of the social media platforms that we have and, um, just show your support. I mean, it's been a really good run and, it and been. it's been fun. Um, even if we don't, you know, come back, uh, it's been a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh, it's been cool to, to do a, a, a show with you. Yeah. You know? And uh, a show that we talked about doing, and we actually made it happen. Yeah. Well, just hanging out si outside of work, you know. Yeah. It's, it's nice. Yeah. yeah. So now when we hang out outside of work, we don't have to have a obligation. Exactly. We just hang out. Yeah. Yeah. And then we, we should continue to keep betting. <laughs> <laughs> I'm down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. For well, sure. we probably will, because we are always Googling things at work. But anyways, um, thank you so much for watching and, and listening. and. Yeah. 
over the past year. And uh, yeah, again, you know, just reach out to us. Cool. Yeah. Well, may this podcast rest in peace. It will rest on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Peace. Thanks, guys. Thanks for listening. And thank you for all the support over this past year. You rock. And uh, we'll see you if we come back. See you. See you on YouTube. Yeah. The Better Not Podcast is Will Cobb and Zach Freeman, produced by Cobblestone Productions. All the music you hear in the show is written by Will Cobb and mixed by Chad McLevina. Thank you so much to Savannah, my wife, for singing on all the tracks that you hear. We post our episodes now on YouTube. Go head over there and subscribe to us and like our video.